On behalf of the Minister of Climate and Environment, Nordic Cooperation and the Oslofjord Outdoor Recreational Council, it's a pleasure to welcome you all to this webinar on acute plastic pollution. My name is Espen Søgen. I'm the director of the Oslofjord Outdoor Recreation Council, Friluftsråd in Norwegian. We are very happy to host this webinar. Our organization is owned by the municipalities along the Oslofjord. One of our many tasks today is organizing marine litter cleanups, mainly plastic. This is a small, but very visual work that is needed to restore the Oslo Fjord, which is in a very bad shape today. This was also the case when we were founded in 1933. Our two main tasks then was to work against pollution and securing the access for common people to the fjord for recreation and swimming. Today we own or lease around 400 properties for this purpose and we are also a secretariat for the intermunicipal management of beaches and islands in the fjord. We sometimes say that nobody knows the Oslo fjord better than us. The Oslo Fjord Outdoor Recreational Council has therefore taken an active part in the important work of re-establishing a good and sustainable environment in the fjord. As you all know, there was an accident in the North Sea last year, resulting in acute plastic pollution in Skagrak. We immediately took an active role in organizing the cleanup process. The challenges we met on all levels made the importance of sharing information and competence with our neighboring countries very clear. We therefore embrace this initiative on a Nordic level. We have for years now seen an endless stream of plastic litter showing up on our shores every year. This has been on the agenda for the Nordic Council of Ministers for the Environment and Climate for many years. Today's webinar is a follow-up of an initiative from 2017, established in a ministerial, ministerial meeting in Oslo. <clears throat> a new project is planned for the period 2021-24 to 24, and is led by the Ministry of Climate and Environment in Norway in cooperation with the Swedish environmental authorities. The report from this project will most likely include a description of the different roles and responsibilities regarding prevention, emergency response and cleanups, as well as legal and organizational aspects. This will be a good background for arranging a new workshop where the Nordic countries discuss the needs for further cooperation on reducing and preventing acute plastic pollution incidents in the future. Thank you for joining us today. I wish you a fruitful webinar. And with this, I give the floor to Ms. Louise Liebeknecht from Grid Arndal, who will lead us through the program. Thank you.